Okay, bush class lesson one that I'm going to do. Uh, four intermediate knots. I've got a bunch of line here I can do different things with. Anyway, first knot is the bow hitch. You go over. You come around and you go across. You come around again, you come under your X like that. Tighten it up. And there's your clove hitch. I also learned when I was a kid, my dad taught me this because he spent a lot of time on boats. He owned one. You're out on the water a lot. You could do a clove hitch by taking your one hand backward like this, one hand forward like this, and you just twist and lay them over. Tighten it up, and away you go. The next knot that they wanted you to do in the lesson was the, uh, the slit knot, which is easy enough. they wanted us to do is pinch off a bunch of duff or a rock or something but use it to pinch it off so put a bunch of this stuff inside my hanky here take my slip knot let's tie it off like that yeah obviously you could do it much smaller than that you know, if you needed an anchor point for a tarp or something like that. The next knot after that in the lesson was the Canadian Jam Knot. Everybody loves that. It's a pretty cool knot. Um, I actually have some set up here that I use to cinch down my sleeping bag, which I'm going to do again for this video. But... What you do is you tie an overhand knot in the end, this becomes your tab, and you tie another overhand knot, and you bring this back through, like that, and then you can, uh, well, I'll cinch it down on this log. Crank it up, cinches down and locks like that. Wanted us to uh, use the knot to compress something I already have here. But I'll do it again. I'll take these off. I have a lot of extra line on these. It's kind of hard to dress out sometimes. Two long ones, four average size ones that I could cut way shorter. In fact, I may do that today. So you got the four average size ones, you loosen them up. But as you can see, you lay them on there. I usually start from the outside in. crank it down actually gonna shorten these up they've always been way too long
put the ones on lengthwise. direction so you have a nice compact pack or bag or whatever you're whatever you're trying to cinch up this is a pretty old pretty large sleeping bag someday I got to get into something nicer than this but it works for now Just my bag down real nice. The last one is the bowling. The way that works is make a loop, come up through the loop, around this, and back down. My ridge line probably isn't the best line to do this with. through this loop. This is the part that's going to be our loop over here. Come up through here. Go around this. Back down through there. And you cinch that off. And it locks the loop right in the end. Now the other thing they wanted us to do was to do it one-handed as if we're being rescued. I actually think this way is kind of cool. I didn't know how to do this until I took the lesson. So this end of the rope goes up to you, the rescuer. This end of the rope goes down to me, the one-handed rescuee. What I do is I go over, make a loop like that. I go around, come back through. It pulls a knot makes the loop obviously I would have this a lot tighter than me if I was being rescued but that's your one-handed <laughs> 